All pieces are reading collected. This is for you, all signs, whoever clicks on this reading or find this reading. This reading is for you. Bananas. I don't know why I'm smelling bananas. That smell. It's like sweet bananas too. It's not just any kind of bananas. Anyways, let's get straight into your reading. I'm using the classic tarot, holographic edition. Something is not what it seems, collective. What's going on, spirit guides and ancestors? Give me an accurate message for the collective. What are the signs to click on this reading? Someone has no standards. This could be someone from Texas that has a crush on you. Something about a car is in the future as well. Someone wants to live a glamorous white cell. And they're plotting. It could be someone of Mexican descent who likes almonds or eats almonds or you could have ate almonds recently. This person's a dancer. Or you could be a dancer. Your credit because you're gonna to want to buy something. It could be a car. Someone's gonna assassinate it. And it's gonna be set up or ruled as a suicide. Alright, let me go over these cards. You got group therapy. Tell me what you want me to. So I want to know do you want them to, but they're not what they seem. This could be someone has a crush on you. You or someone else could be of Mexican descent. Could have ate almonds with this person. Something about almonds. Someone wants to get a new car, but in order to get this new car, you need to get a higher credit score. Someone likes the way you do it, the way you dance, the way you have sex. But this person has no standards. And they're plotting scheming, and not only that, they're fiending. Someone's gonna die, but it's gonna be an assassination, and it's gonna rule, be ruled as a suicide or a murder. Assassination is worse. It's going to be a mood as a suicide or something that's not what it is in Texas. You could be from Texas, traveling through Texas. If someone wants to live a glamorous lifestyle and they do anything, very greedy. Not grateful either. A younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Was not as creative they want the benefits of a creative person yeah they don't want you to walk away from them you could have in the past to heal with the four swords you're healing you could be a leo or someone with leo in their chart why is this coming out for the collective general messages for the collective it could be a male air sign that doesn't tell the truth aquarius leo gemini that doesn't want to move on for them they're they love the way you do something. This person is very greedy. They could have done something to your car because you wouldn't have a family with him or take your money away. He didn't close some type of cycle. They could have put you in a third party and juggled you with someone else or you could have did this to them. But this person is very immature, especially when it comes to love making. A strong Leo energy here. They want you to take away your strength. They needed you to need them. Queen of Swords is here. Why is this? You spoke your truth to this emperor about how you felt and you stood your ground, Nine of Wands. But this person does can't believe that you're not in love with them. And you listen to your intuition. This person's the devil. They're a warlock or a witch. And they purposely wanted to make you not see who they truly are. I have a feeling you already did. Queen of Wands reverse. They also try to take your confidence away, your voice away. But judgment has been called upon this person for stabbing you in the back. Ten of Swords reverse. You could take the knives out now. And not only that, you're getting your justice. It could be legally, it could be spiritually. But this person tampered with your relationship. They was mad you didn't choose them. 
they're mad that you started from scratch, started from something from zero, and you didn't choose the path that they wanted you to. What's this two of wands? What's this two of wands? King of wands. They're mad you didn't choose them to be their partner because you're the queen of wands reverse and they're the king of wands reverse. They're mad they didn't, you didn't allow them to be your low vibrational counterpart. Before you was vibrating high and he was always low. The devil is low energy. So they made you go low thinking that you would choose them. But instead, you chose something else. You chose yourself. And they're mad. This person's the devil. They could worship the devil. And you luckily got away from this person in one piece. And now you start to think and reflect on all the time you was around this person and wondering why you couldn't sleep, wondering why you was in the night of swords because this person was sending energy away. And I feel like now with the hangman in reverse, you you know that. You're awakened to everything this person tried to do, all the magic they did. And now you're pulling the swords out of your heart this person planted a lot of seeds that didn't grow. They was patient too, could have been a Sagittarius, so this happened during Sagittarius season. They did a lot of magic, paid for it, worked with other people to do magic, so you wouldn't see your true potential. Fought before you, watched you from afar, communicated with you to see if it was happening. And the only thing they did was get broker and broker because the magic did not hit. They wanted you confused, but then the tower happened. And once this tower happened, you realized a lot. My camera is dying, but this message had to get out. You could be single right now. Continue to reap the fruits of your labor. Never give anyone that power over you ever again, collective. Don't trust these men. These men could be short, pot-bellied with a scrunched up face. They are a devil. You couldn't even marry this person for some that got away. You could have lived with this person, knew this person from family. They're not who they say they are. They wanted to build a family with you. They worked hard doing this magic to get you away and still came up short. The devil never wins. We thought they would stop trying by now, but that just made them keep going. Don't go back to this person. Don't go anywhere this person lives. Do not contact this person, even if you're in need. Ask God and he'll provide for you. Never go back to this person. Don't speak to them. Go on their property. Don't let them know anything about you. Run and stay gone, because if you do, you'll regret it. My camera's dying, like I said. Stay blessed. Stay strong. Stay real.